got the bed made already this morning. The doggy done took up her spot on it. That is Reba right there, Miss Reba. And Bandit done took up his spot for it. It's where they'll be the rest of the day. First thing in the morning, let's weigh. I ain't putting both feet on there. Oh, God, I don't want to. I don't want to. I ain't stepping on. Nope. I'm a fat butt. I need to lose weight. I know. You ain't seeing my, my actual weight. Can't do it. Let's see what the day holds for us. So far today, it's been a pretty eventful day with Crazy Alley YouTube channel. I do know we're, we're fixing to clean up a few dishes and then we're gonna cook us some meatloaf casserole. So hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and hang out with us for a little while. Got some dishes to rinse up real quick, or wash up real quick. Got some supper going in the crock pot. Just replaced the light up over the microwave. And let's see. I normally don't throw that away. I normally just push it down the drain, but since everybody's watching me, I'm gonna make it out. Go put it in the trash. Okay, I'm back. I have seen many people washing dishes. And their dishwater that they're washing dishes in is greasy and it has food floating in it. They're sitting washing dishes, or they call it washing dishes. I call it getting dishes dirtier. But they wash it with the rag, take it out, and rinse it over here and put it over in the dish drainer. You know, people, if that water ain't clean, if there's floaties in it all over the place, or if there's a little bit of grease on it, on the water, it ain't washing dishes, people. That was a very simple thing to add. It's about out of soap. We have a bottle back there. Everybody's just too lazy to bend down and open up the cabinet and stick it down in there and drop the hose down in it. We usually buy the gallon soap from Sam's Club and it lasts about a year. I ain't too lazy to put that down underneath the sink. I got back issues. You don't see me in here at the sink very often. But there's a tip about that. A tip on a gallon soap from Sam's. I pay like six or seven dollars for the, the biodegradable heavy duty uh, restaurant style soap. And that lasts a year usually with one of those pumpers. If you do it by hand like that right there, you put way too much in there. Everybody does. I think I put 30 pumps at a time in there with the pumper. And it lasts a year with us. That is some money saving tips right there, I'll tell you that. Well, let's get these washed up. Cutting up some bacon right here. I would keep cutting it up, but I ain't got three hands. Sausage and bacon. 
and cutting it up with scissors right there. Whacking away at it. I'll get a tripod in here, here in just a few minutes. Hear that sizzling? I think I told you while I was cutting it up that I had I had sausage and bacon both. Now don't hold me to this if it don't turn out. I'm just trying it out. I'm very picky about how my meat is cooked. I always set and chop up my anything ground, ground sausage, ground beef, ground turkey, anything I use, I set and chop away. I sound like a dang Chinese person in a shoot, uh, what is that called? Uh, a sous chef. Is sous chef a Chinese person all the time or is that? something else I'm getting mixed up there but you know how Chinese people work really fast and like chopping up vegetables and stuff man they can kick some butt at it that's what I sound like when I'm in here cooking it used to we had a electric stove and you'd hear that whole electric stove shaking The washing machine was going and I was doing it. My wife would be hollering, Is that washing machine out of balance? How many of y'all have heard that back in the day growing up? I guess they figured out how to make washing machines balance easier because never hear it now. But when I was a kid, whole house would go to shaking. Mom would holler, Hey, go, go move those clothes around in the, the washer and balance it out. How many of y'all actually live like that as a kid? Drop me a comment down below and let me know. Cause I can tell you I sure did. Alright, I'll check back with you after this is cooked a little bit. Man, does that not smell good? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna dump some of this grease out. Be back with you in just a second. I'm back. Hey, I ain't gonna tell you what I do with all my grease, or we do with all our grease. Let me know what you do with yours. You have a container, you pour it in. You take it outside and pour it in the backyard. You just leave it in the food and have greasy food all the time. Do you run hot water and pour it down the sink? You run cold water and pour it down the sink. You just pour it down the sink with no water running. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying it out, see how it works. I mean, it's going to be edible no matter what, but I'm going to make a meatloaf with pre-cooked meat. That way you ain't got to get it so rock hard that you can't cut into it, but the meat's done on the inside of it. Gonna do it kind of like a meat roll casserole, I guess you could say. So let's see how this turns out. Those are still hard. I gotta cook them a minute, warm them up a little bit.
All right, got those meatballs warmed up a little bit so I can chop them up. Chop them up really fine. You wouldn't necessarily have to use meatballs. You could just use a couple pounds of breakfast sausage or ground meat and pre-cook it first. This ain't no ordinary meatloaf. This is pre using pre-cooked meat. Just trying it out and see how it works. They say I'm a sh I should be a chef. I don't. I say I hate cooking, but I enjoy getting in here, trying new stuff. I love desserts. Bacon desserts is a big one for me. Now that I'm gonna add the bacon and ground sausage I already cooked. Drain the grease. Now, I don't know what I'm doing here. I've never cooked this. But let's see if we can find some crackers. I want y'all to help me find some crackers. Y'all see any crackers? We need a pantry. Y'all want to help me build a pantry one day? Or one week or one month? I might be out of luck on crackers. I see a couple of uh, rich crackers. They're not rich. Saltine crackers. Yeah, that ain't how it was, but oh well. I found some. Let's get these thrown in there. Let me get y'all put back up on the stand. Y'all see? Don't fall. Hopefully none of y'all's top heavy. So it might tumble over. Oh, look at that manpower. Don't ask me why I'm putting crackers in it, it just sounds good. Since there ain't very many left, I'm just gonna use the whole pack. Well, let's see. Let's get this mixed up with those crackers. Let's see where we go from there. I really don't know. If I had to cook a meatloaf, I wouldn't know how to cook it. I can cook all kinds of stuff, but I, I just go for it. Whatever sounds good at throwing it, I'll throw it in. I usually don't look at no recipe here. Every now and then I might watch a video on how to do it. But So to this point, I think I'm going to put some ketchup down in it. Some salt and pepper. Oh, maybe that's how you do it. I think that's enough. I don't know how much to put of that sea salt. I've never used it. No pepper. Hey, check out this trick. Can't get pepper to come out very good. 
just pours out if you do that. Pretty neat little trick, ain't it? Drop a comment down below and let me know if you've ever seen that before. Probably have, because it's... I've seen it on Facebook. Or YouTube. Now, let's add some ketchup to it. New ketchup, so open the bottle. I don't want the inside real ketchup -y. I think I need a little bit more than that though. I'm making a mess. There, you can see in there a little bit better right there, can't you? I'm just gonna mash everything down real good. I want a smooth top. And then I'm gonna slide it to the back and put the lid on it while I mix up some glaze for the top. So I'll get all that out for you and get it ready. All right. Gonna make a glaze for on top. A little pepper in it. I don't know why, but I do. Gonna get me brown sugar, light brown sugar, not dark. I think two spoons of it will be plenty. I oh, almost messed up there. Ketchup go flying across the kitchen. Oh, I forgot. Let's turn the crock pot on the high for a little while. Get it nice and hot, and then we'll turn it on warm. Gonna stir that up. I don't know why I put brown sugar, but when you say glaze, nothing goes better in glaze than brown sugar. Spread it up.
and we'll see how that turns out. Well, there it is. Not much left of it. About devoured it. That shows about how good it tasted. Tasted about like a meatloaf. Tastes like, as far as I remember, or actually it tastes about 10 times better than a meatloaf taste. As far as I remember. Well worth it.